Hi everyone, my name is Amaka and this is Lizama Stitches. You're welcome to today's tutorial. Thanks for being here. If you're new here, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe. And also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you'll be notified. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a short yoke dress. So let's get started. This is my lining and this is my main fabric. Now I'm going to... I'm going to start by cutting the lining. After cutting the lining, I'm going to transfer it. I'm going to I'm going to use the lining to cut the main fabric. I'm going to cut the upper part of the dress. I'm going to cut the front and the back together. So this is my starting point, which is also going to serve as my shoulder line. Like I said, my I have my front panel and my back panel here. Now this is the back panel and this is the front panel. Now, when I place now, this is I'll place the front panel on the back panel. Now, this is one and a half inches. This is one and a half inches zipper allowance. I'll be taking my measurement from here, from here, away from the zipper allowance. I'll be taking my measurement this way, away from the zipper allowance. This is my starting point, which is also going to serve as my shoulder line. The shoulder measurement I'm working with is 15 inches. 15 divided by 2 gives you... 7.5 inches plus half inch seam allowance gives you 8 inches so I'm going to mark 8 inches here so this is my 8 inches this is my 8 inches now I'm going to take my neck measurement the neck width I'm working with the neck width I'm working with is 4 inches And the neck depth is 3.5 inches. The, this is the front the front neck width. The front neck width is the neck the front neck width is 4 inches and the front neck depth is 3.5 inches. 3.5 inches. The back neck width is also four inches and the front and the back neck and the back neck depth is one inch so i'm going to connect it And I'll connect this point to this point. From this point, I'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slant. Now, this is my shoulder measurement. From this shoulder measurement, I'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slant. So I'll connect this point to this point. From this point, I'm going to impute my armhole measurement. Now, the armhole measurement I'm working with is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 gives you 8 inches. So, I'm going to mark 8 inches here. Now, take note. What I'm drafting, what I'm drafting is the yoke. I'm drafting the yoke. This this dress is going to have two layers. Now the first part is the yoke and the second part is the is the gathers, is the part that has gathers. So I'm going to connect this point to this point. Now I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. I'm going to find the midpoint of this line, but before I do that, I'm going to take my bust circumference. I'm going to take my bust measurements on this line. Now, this is my chest point. This is my chest point. I'm going to take my bust measurements on my chest point. Now, the bust circumference I'm working with is 36 inches. 36 divided by 4 gives you 9 inches. So, I'm going to mark 9 inches here. Now, 9 inches. 9 
inches plus one inch seam allowance gives you 10 inches okay so now i'm going to find the midpoint of this line now this is the midpoint of this line from this midpoint i'm going to go in by three quarter of an inch And I'll connect this point to this point and this point to this point. So this is my front armhole. Now for my back armhole, I'm going to, from this point, I'm going to connect it to this point. So this is my back armhole and this is the front armhole. The full length of this dress is 39 inches. Now the length of the yoke is 9 inches. So I'm going to minus 9 inches plus from 39 inches. That gives you 30 inches. So this part of this of the dress is 9 inches while the other, the other part, the lower part of the dress is, the lower part of the dress is 30 inches. So for me to be able to cut off this part, I'm going to extend this line. Now this is my chest line. I'm going to extend my chest line so that I can add my seam allowance and cut out the yoke. So I've added my seam allowance. I'm also going to add my shoulder allowance. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut the back panel first. So I've cut the back. I'm going to separate the back and cut and finish the front. Now this is a back panel. So I'm going to cut the front. So this is a back panel and this is a front panel. I'm going to use this to cut out the main fabric. Please take note, before I started cutting this fabric, my fabric was on fold. My fabric was on fold. Now this is my lining. This is my lining. My, it's, my fabric was on fold. Now this is it. You see? So before you start drafting, make sure you put your fabric on fold. Put the front panel and the back panel on fold. So, now I've used the lining to cut the main fabric. I have to split the back, the back panel for the zipper allowance. Now, this is what I'm going to do. Now, this is what I'm going to do. Now, the full length of this dress is 39 inches. And my yoke, my yoke is 9 inches. This, nine, this yoke is 9 inches. So, I'm going to minus 9 inches from 39 inches. And that gives you 30 inches. So, the lower part of this dress is 30 inches. The lower part of this dress is 30 inches. Now, remember that I have half inch seam allowance here. Which means I have 9.5 inches here. So, I'm on the... On the lower part of the, the lower part is 30 inches plus half inch seam allowance, which I'm going to use to join the upper part to the lower part, gives you 30.5 inches plus 1.5 inches, which I'm going to use to hem the lower part, gives you 32 inches. So the, the lower part of this, of this dress is 32 inches, 32 inches. Now, another thing I'm going to do is, now this i'm going to cut out times two of the front panel and times two of the back panel because i'm going to gather i'm going to gather this i'm going to gather the lower part so i'm going to cut times two of i'm going to cut times two of this now this is 
Now, this is 22 inches. 22 inches. So, 22 times 2. 22 times 2 gives you 40, 44 inches. So, I'm going to cut for, I'm going to cut out 44 inches. Now, here I have, here I have, I have 25 inches here. So, I'm going to cut out 50 inches for this. That is times 2 of this gives you 50 inches. So, I'm going to cut out 50 inches because I'm going to pleat, I'm going to pleat it. So, the next thing I'm going to do is, now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. Now, for the front panel, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to place I'm going to place it right side facing right side. I'm going to place my main fabric on the lining right side facing right side and I'm going to start by sewing the neck. I'll sew the neck. Now I'm going to sew the neck with half inch seam allowance. After sewing the neck, I'm going to notch. After notching, I'll push the seam allowance on the lining and top stitch. Now, after that, I'm going to, I'm also, I'm also going to do the same on the back panel. I'm going to place the back panel. I'm going to place the main fabric on the lining. Now, this is the back panel. This is the back panel. I'm going to place the lining on the, I'm going to place the main fabric on the lining, right side facing right side, right side facing right side, and I'm going to sew, I'll sew it with half inch seam allowance, the neck, with half inch seam allowance, after sewing with half inch seam allowance, I'll notch, after notching, I'm going to push the, I'm going to push the main fabric on the lining and top stitch, I'll top stitch, after that, I'm going to sew, I'm going to use half inch seam allowance to sew the zipper, the zipper allowance. I'm going to use half inch seam allowance to sew the zipper allowance. After that, I'm going to turn it. After sewing, I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn it. I'll now turn it inside out. I'll do it and show you. So I've sewn it. Now, after sewing the neck, I pushed the, I notched, after notching, I pushed the seam allowance on the lining, on the lining and top stitched. After that, I have to sew the zipper allowance with half inch seam allowance. Now I'm going to turn it. When I turn it, this is what I'll have. I did the same thing here. And I also did the same thing. I also did the same thing on the front panel. This is it. After sewing the neck, I pushed the seam allowance and top stitched. So this is the front panel. This is the front panel. I'm going to cut the pocket. I'm going to place my pocket this way. Now my pocket is 7 inches. I'm going to mark 7 inches here. inches plus my seam allowance so I'm going to drop now I'm going to put my hand this way I'm going to place my hand this way I'll place my hand this way and I'll draft so I'll cut it So this is my pocket. Now I have one, two, three, four. I have four pieces here. So this is what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to gather this. Now this is the front panel. This is the front panel. I'm going to gather this on this. I'm going to gather it. Now, this is it. I'll take it to my sewing machine and I'll gather it. I'll gather it with half inch seam allowance. 
and I'll also gather the back. Now this is the back panel. So this is the back panel. I'm also gather. I'm, I'll gather this on to this, and this to this. So I'll do it and show you. Now this is it. Now this is the back panel. I've joined the upper part to the lower part. Joined the upper part to the lower part, and I've at now. This is how to attach the pocket. This is how to attach the pocket. Now this is the pocket, and I'm going to measure. I'm going to measure. I'm going to be working with the waist point. Now the waist point is 17 inches. I'm going to come down by two inches. Two inches. Be, I'm going to come down two inches below the waist point. Now the waist point is 17 inches. Now two inches below the waist point. Now this is it here. On this point. On this point, I'm going to attach the pocket. Now this is the pocket. I'm going to attach the pocket. I'm going to place it this way. I'll place it this way and I'll sew it. I'll sew it half inch. After sewing with half inch, I'll turn it this way and top stitch. I'm going to turn it and I'll top stitch. After that, the same way I'm going to join this part, I'm going to join. I've joined this part already. I just want to show you how to do it. Now, I've done this. Okay, now look at this. Look at this. After, after joining the pocket, I had to push the seam. I had to push the seam allowance on the pocket and top stitched. Okay. Now, this is how to join the shoulder. Now, this is how to join the shoulder. This is the front panel. This is the front panel. Now, when you bring the front panel, now this is the shoulder and this is the back panel. This is the shoulder. You're going to bring the main fabric. You're going to join the main fabric to the main fabric. Right side facing right side. This is it. Right side facing right side. Now, this is the lining. You hold the lining and hold the lining and you join it together. You sew. Now, when you join it this way, you sew. You sew it this way. Now, after sewing, you turn. When you turn it, the seam allowance is going to be inside. It will not be showing outside. The same way you're going to do this, you're also going to do this the same way. Now, after that, now this is how to join your dress together. After joining the pocket and the shoulder, now you bring here, you bring the sides together and you sew. Sew it. Now you're going to sew one inch. You're going to sew it this way. You join the pocket this way. This is the front panel and this is the back panel. You join it together and you sew. You sew it this way. You sew it this way. You sew it this way and sew it this way and sew it down to the hem. The same way you 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 did here, you're going to do this one that way as well, this side. Now after that, I'm going to hem the lower part. I'm going to hem the lower part and I'll fix the zipper. So I'll do it and show you. Now to fix the zipper, I'm going to join the back. The back panel, I'm going to join the back panel together. I'm going to sew it. I'll sew it to this point. Then from this point, I'm going to add the zipper to this point. So after that, I'm going to add attach the sleeve. I'm going to attach the sleeve. Now I've cut the sleeve already. I have a tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below so that you can check it out later. So I'm going to attach the sleeve and I'll hem the lower part and I'll show you the finished look of this dress. So this is it. Now this is the back. So this is the back. I've attached the zipper and I've also attached the sleeve. I've also attached the sleeve and I joined the sides. Now this is the pocket. This is the pocket and I hemmed the lower part. So that is just it with this tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to ask questions. I'll be in the comment section to answer all your questions. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Lizama Stitches. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.